most painters think they are selling paintings, but they're wrong. Throughout the whole history, there was no painter who ever sold a painting. It's just not how human psychology works. It's not how biology works. And so the sooner you understand this, the sooner you will be start selling art. And in this video, we will explain exactly that process, that foundation, what happens in the buying process. What's the foundation, the psychological, the psycholog, well, the psychological foundation of selling art so that you can understand that and because of that, start to sell more art. So follow me here for a moment. Painters don't sell paintings. What they sell are feelings. Now, 50 years ago, we could only assume those things. And now, with the coming of, of brain scans, EEGs, fMRI specs, all of that stuff, with the evolutions made in neuroscience, we can actually see what happens in the brain step by step in the buying process. We can see that and we know with certainty what steps happen. Now, what we expect there is that the first step in the buying process, buying a painting, is prefrontal cortex. The part that is responsible for um, goal setting, for planning, etc., etc. That rational part of the brain, that part of the neocortex that is so important for those things. That's what we expect to happen. What actually happens if we look to the brain scans is that the limbic system gets activated first. And only after the prefrontal cortex can, kicks in. So the first step is the limbic system. The limbic system is responsible for emotional processing. It's responsible for our feelings. And so the first thing that happens is a feeling. And that's true in all types of sales, not just art, just in every, in every decision you make. The decision is made in the limbic system. First, when you're 12, you have a feeling like when, for example, talking to a girl, you want to talk to a girl, first you have a feeling and then you rationalize that, you, you, you justify that feeling. For example, you're afraid to talk with a girl and then you come up with a reason why not to talk to her, why it is smarter to not to talk to her. That is limbic system first and then that rational part, that neocortex of our brain that kicks in and justifies that feeling to, to, to make sure that we, I don't know, uh, don't fail or something, you know, to prevent us from failure, to, to conserve ourselves. It's a biological mechanism. Um, and so, so if you understand this, then you can really lift up your sales game in the arts then you can really use this in your adventures let's give a practical example so that you can fully understand this and really um, start executing on this and not just knowing but start executing on it um, here's the thing here's the thing when you're selling paintings more, most painters know that they have to close they have to at some point in the sales process close here's what most painters will ask or something similar to that do you want to buy this painting? They will at some point ask the collector, do you want to buy this painting? The painters who do that, they don't understand. They don't understand how decisions are made in a sales process. They don't understand that it is limbic system. Why? Because it's the most stupid question you can ask. Do you want to buy this painting? Is, is, is just not a smart question. Let me explain you why. The word buying has a bad connotation. The word buying has a bad connotation. When you use the word buying, when people hear the word buying, they think about, I will have to spend money, which means that I will have to lose money, which means that I have less money at that game. I don't want to have less money. I, I don't want that at all. And, and so, so they don't want to buy. They don't want to, to lose money. And so buying just 
doesn't feel limbic part limbic part feels right it doesn't feel right what you should be doing instead is for example um say to a collector when you're talking to a collector and you want to close you could say do you want to own this piece own this piece of course i want to own this piece like i'm a collector that's my thing i own pieces of art like that's my personality it's my identity of course i want that do you want to spend money doing it no i don't want to spend money doing it like that's no no people like people by the way like to buy stuff they like to own stuff they like they like that action but they don't like losing money why because if they lose money they can buy less stuff you know they can buy less stuff so so they want to buy they want they don't want to lose the money part of it and the word buying itself has a connotation of losing money you don't want to use that um so let's give another example uh, what you could do a solution you could say do you want to um do you want to move forward do you want to move forward? Of course I want to move forward. Cool, moving forward. Do you want to spend money doing that? No, I don't. Do you want to expand your collection with this piece? Do you want to expand your collection with this piece? Of course I want to expand my collection. I'm a collector, of course. That's what I'm about. That's what I do. Expand my collection. Cool. They don't feel like they're spending money there. They 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 feel like they're 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 expanding their collection. Do you want to take this piece home with you? When they're interested in your art, do you want to take this piece home with you? They're imagining the piece on their wall. They're not imagining spending money. Do you want to buy this piece? No. Do you want to? Hang this piece on your wall. Yes, of course. I, I, I love the piece. I just said I loved it. You know, like it's, it's, it's a much smoother and a much more emotional way of selling art. And it's actually showing empathy, actually understanding their emotions, their feelings, and then playing on that to sell more art. I hope this example helped. And um, if you want more of these types of videos, if you want more, just subscribe. If you want to learn about the business side of the art, subscribe. Here's why that is an essential thing. Most artists spend a lifetime acquiring their skill. A lifetime acquiring their skill. But they just spend a couple of days, weeks, max, learning how to sell that skill. And that's a problem. And so you need to figure out a way to train yourself in that sales process. It's just an essential, essential part of selling art, of, of, of being an artist in general. So anyway, take care. Keep on making the world a beautiful place or a more beautiful place with your art creations. And um, hope to see you next time. Ciao.